Hi there and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I wanted you all to see the gravity <laughs> of what I'm about to do and what I'm facing. I'm going to do a full colouring book update for my collection and I'm going to include my declutter as I go. We have this pile of books, this pile of books, all five shelves of books, and if I have a cheeky little nip over here you can see all the mess in my craft room this pile of books as well I need to take control of my situation I need to be very very strict about what's staying what's going what I'm going to colour what I'm not and it's going to have to happen. I'm probably going to... Uh, I can't decide. I will probably... Um, I have no idea what I'm about to do with all the books I'm going to declutter. I will decide and the answer will be at the end of the video, I would imagine. But this is what we're dealing with. This is ridiculous. I need to sort this out. It needs to all fit on the bookcase. That is my rule and then I can get to sorting out other parts of my room. I know this is a vast, ridiculous collection of over-consumerism that I'm never going to use, but these are art. It's my money, it's my life. I'm not going to really listen to you guys if you slate me in the comments. So if you've come to like have a look at a collection, have a bit of a laugh, have some fun, uh, pop something in the to the background, maybe have a look at some cheeky books that you might be able to get for a cheap price. You've come to the right place. If you want to troll about buying too many things, don't bother. So apart from that, I'm going to pop you onto my desk. We're going to, we're just going to grab books. There's going to be no order. We're going to go through, we're going to keep, we're going to decide, we're going to make two piles and then we're going to create a beautiful space on this bookcase and sort everything out i will be right back okay let's do this we're going to sort out my exposure so that it is correct and off we go so <laughs> a lot of these uh first couple of pals are going to go i think because i'm pretty sure these are books that i pulled off some time ago um, that I was thinking weren't going to be keepers so <coughs> we'll have a quick look and we will decide so I have Selena Fenix Enchanted Edition this is um, Enchanted Magical Forest the Grayscale Edition this is um, Amazon print and it is beautiful but dark grey scale on Amazon print is really very time consuming um and hard work to deal with and i can see quite a few of my old amazon prints will be going that is one of them so out to the left i have a million sweet things by lulu mayo ah uh, this is a very cutesy little book but i have a few of hers and i haven't touched this and nothing kind of calls out to me at all that's gonna go i have the cutest elves that were sent to me by rachel mints again this is a grayscale coloring book on amazon print and that one is also going to go i have the snow princess by ruth sanderson this is also um an amazon print now I have completed a page in this book somewhere but I do think you get yeah I've completed a page in this book <coughs> so <laughs> I did spill a cup of tea in here um I love the page I did so I think what we are going to do is keep the page I did. My 
to put a bit too much pressure on there. <laughs> Maybe just a bit. I'm going to keep the page I did and add it to my folder because, I mean, this is an early work, so it's not amazing, but it's on Amazon print, so I didn't do too bad. But I would like to keep that because um, it is a page that I was very proud of at the time. But this, this is going to go. And because, obviously, I've taken a page and it's got a tea stain in, that will go in a third pile to give away to... Um, family and friends i have ladies of nature also a grayscale on amazon print this one is by elena lazareva these are super cute like really strange illustrations and i do believe again i have finished a page in here and i was pretty pleased with this but I, i'm just not going to color in this book so again I'm going to keep my page, pop it in my folder, give that book away. Uh, I have the buns. <laughs> this was by Dia Lenihan. <coughs> Sorry for the forever cough, guys. Again, this is on Amazon print. And this is super cute. Super, super cute. And I believe you get doubles of each page. But I'm not going to get to this. I have all my Tatiana Bogima books with all my cute little mice. And if I'm going to colour in something, I know it will be that along those lines. So that, that needs a new home. I have Colour Relax, Perfectly Portable Pages by Valentina Harper. This was a super cute book sent to me by a lovely lady that I know. And I've not coloured in it and I've had it a while. So I know she would prefer that I find someone that's going to love this. Um, it was a gift, obviously, so I'm not going to uh, sell that. I will find someone that would like this book and I will pass that on. Third pile. I have Selena Fennick again, Memories Wake, Victorian Rose Romance, Grayscale Edition. Again, Amazon print paper. These are absolutely stunning, stunning pages. And I've coloured one. And I do love how she turned out. I'm going to put that to the maybe. I'm going to keep that to one side because I'm not sure. I've got Selena Fennick Gothic. Again, it's a grayscale. It's beautiful. But it's also on Amazon print paper. So I'm... Hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I'm failing already. It's gonna go because I'm it's gonna go and what I'll do is I'll keep the Victorian romance. There we go. I need to keep power, pop it behind me. I have this super cute um Draconis publishing fairy tales, fun and silly fairy tales. And uh this is a super cute little book in grayscale. Again, it's on the Amazon print. And although I really love this, I'm going to pass this along. I'm not going to get to it. I have by Akuko, Surreal Fantasy, Grayscale. Very, very super cute. Again, it's Amazon paper and I am going to pass her along. I've had this book for ages and I have not worked in it. Selena Fennec, again. Uh, Grayscale Fairy Companions, super cute fairies. Amazon print, that one's going to go. And then I have The Sea King's Daughter by Aaron Shepherd. This was sent to me by um, the company and it's on actually quite nice paper. It's slightly shiny. I don't do well with shiny paper. The medium I use doesn't like it. Um, and it's a beautiful uh, story and colouring book that I think someone will just love. So I'm also going to pass that one along. <coughs> From there, I have my miniature Enchanted Forest by Joanna Basford. Um, I'm trying to think if I did. I think I've done. 
I've done the tiniest little bit of something in here um, and also this little page in here but I just know it's too it's smaller than I like to work in and I'm not going to get back to this so I will pop that into my third pile to find someone to give that to. I have this cute paisley book by Kelly A. Baker. This again was, it was a gift. Um, but I'm not going to get to it. And I don't want everything to sit on my shelves that I know I'm not going to work in. So again, I'm going to find someone for that. I have Chris Riddell, the Da Vinci card. This is a super cute set of illustrations, but my edition is the shiny one and it didn't go well for me. I have done one page in this. Um, so again, going to pass this one along. I have Tom Fletcher's The Christmasaurus and the Naughty List. This is actually a reading book. Um, that was a project by um, Lucy Just Adds Colour, her channel was, and she changed it, something like that. I'll pop her in the description below. Um, but um, it was her project to like colour them in, and I think I did like two of the little figures in here, um, but I reckon I can pass that along as a reading book still, as obviously it's, you know, it's in perfectly good condition. Um, I don't think I've destroyed it by kind of adding that little bit of colour to it. So that one also is going to be passed along. Okay, we're going to be here a long, long time, guys, just so you know. Uh, next pal. So I've got Keepers of the Enchanted Forest by Forest Diver. The last lot of these books that I um, decluttered, I kept some, but I think that's going to go. I've got Camellia Angel Clover's 50 Spring Miniatures. I don't, I just don't colour in them. Um, that can go, I've got 50 Autumn Miniatures, same thing. That can go. I've got the Mystical Lands of Kelch Switch, which is actually a gorgeous book. Um, and lots and lots of pages. Look at all that. Um, but I haven't touched it. I've had it a good long while. So that can go. I've got Disney Disneyland Park Colouring Book. Um, this was a gift. But again, you know, it's a beautiful Disney book that somebody will love that I'm not going to colour in. Because I have my Art Deco version that I would. Or my uh, Vitro. So... That can go. I've got a random colouring heaven here. This is 40 festive designs by Mariola Budek, Ava Brown, Shep Minton and more. So this one is issue 94. I never colour the Christmas editions. And I've come to realise that I just don't really colour on this paper. And I have so many of these magazines. So that can also go. This is just me um, getting pals off my floor. I have Mandala Mystery by Coloria, black and white. This was sent to me by them. And I. It is um, a colour by number, which is super fun. And they're gorgeously, um, you know, good quality paper. And I don't think I've worked in it. So I'm just going to pass that along to someone. I've got Elegant Beauties by Elena Lazareva and I just love the hair in this book. Again though it's on Amazon print and you will see in a bit why I'm not going to get to this because of the other books I have. I've got Eastern Visions by uh, Black River Art. Again this is absolutely stunning um, but I'm going to pass this one along as well. Photos this one I think. I also have The Beauty of Fantasy by them. Stunning. Uh, I do have Stardust and this was a gift, but with the copyright issues that they had, I just, I can't use it on the channel at all. So although I love this book and I love the gift, 
Thank you so much. I am going to pass that to someone who will be able to colour in it as well. I have Dream World 2. I love this book. This is Black River Art as well, but I've had it forever. I'm not going to touch it. That's got to go. Oh, <coughs> see, I'm being, I'm doing all right here because I think these were ones that I already had on my like, probably to go pal. Um, Cheryl Casey's Mermaids, Fairies, and Fantasy. This was a beautiful gift as well. Um, again, I've had this forever and just haven't gotten to it. It's Amazon print. That one is going to go. I've issue number 63, Dragons Special. And I did buy this especially and I haven't touched it. So again, that one can go. I've got the Alice in Wonderland, which is issue 92. This is by Eva Nikunen. Again. can go i've got the element special which is issue 90 by ann stokes haven't touched it also going to let it go i've the wingling special by beckett jasmine beckett griffith this is issue 91 i was a subscriber to these for quite some time so there's a lot but i have her books so Again, I'm going to let that go. Oh, um, my Colouring Heaven Ink House Storybook Special. Mm. As beautiful as it is, I'm just not I'm not gonna get to that and let it go. I've got Sassy Colourings a Fanciful Fantasy. Again, this is um Amazon print. You've got lots of really cool pages in this, and you've got a grey and a black edition, so you can have uh, faded lines if you prefer. This is a super cute book, and I know someone that will totally love this. So again, I'm gonna let it go. And then I have Girls in Ancient Asian Fashion by Queenie Wong, Amazon Print. I've had this forever. I love this. But I've got certain books like this on better paper. So again, I know, you know, that's what I will pick. So that is going to go. Oh, it's a bit depressing, to be honest. But um, I've had my joy for them, from them. You know, they've they've brought me the joy i needed i have a random maria trolley book here this is twilight garden i have more books from her on my shelves um if i've popped this off to one side i'm assuming that i was not going to keep it i have so many that obviously some do need to go hmm i always find this so hard but I haven't coloured in this. Nothing's jumping out at me. That can go. I've got Pastel Goth Creepy Kawaii Colouring Book. This is super cute. This is fun for practising markers. And I did do one cute little illustration in here somewhere. <laughs> this little guy. I'm going to keep him. I know that sounds really silly, but um, I did it and I really like the page. And why not? I'm going to keep that one. And then that is then an uncoloured book. And I will find someone for that. I've got a couple of Teresa Goodridge books here that I obviously pulled out. Um, I find Teresa Goodridge. I'm always going back and forth. I put them in my declutter pile and then I struggle to actually part with them. But I think, you know, this one, it's just not likely that I'm going to colour. So summer scenes can go. 
country Christmas. I never colour Christmas pages. Uh, I'm not going to colour this one very lightly. So that can go spring scenes. Yeah, that can go. Oh, right. Okay. What I'm going to do is actually pull some books from my bookcase as well. Um, then it doesn't feel like I'm getting rid of everything I own. Because <laughs> some of them need to stay. Uh, right. So this is why some of my others can go. Because I have this. You lot know how I feel about um, kind of pocket sized books. Um and that you know i just do better with them and i've got this little collection here of five that i purchased some time ago these gorgeous little kind of japanese girls i've there's chibi girls and uh little kind of pokemon animals and just this super cute little collection that realistically is going to have all of my needs in there i reckon so i'm gonna keep all five of those even though i probably should like go through and find some to go but they're staying i have in this folder my three mariola budet books i'm working on one page at the moment and i have the set of art the set of heart gold and i believe the is it the hair inspirations um, and she sends these as books in binders and I just unbound them and added them to this one big folder. So all three books are in here and they're on a gorgeous cardstock. And obviously this is staying. This is staying. And the way I colour it will take me my entire life to get anywhere near through these. So uh, again, you know, there's a big chunk of pages for me I'm gonna keep those I love those <laughs> got a couple on my keep pile now um i then have uh these three thomas kincaid books i do have his big poster book down the bottom as well but we'll get to that so i have this little kind of postcard set and it is gorgeous but i just i'm realistically not going to color this so i'm going to pass that along well find someone probably sell that uh, and then i have the two disney coloring books i've got the disney dreams collection and the disney dreams collection disney princess oh <sighs> I'm not sure I'm going to be able to part with one of these. Realistically, I should. But. It's just one of those things where I'm not going to. I'm going to keep those. I have Mystic Misfits, which is an art book by White Stag. Little travel sized version. Super cute little kind of Halloweeny pages with not much colouring to them i'm gonna pass that one on i've a crystal vogel here als moschweiss de verwunschenwald mm -hmm. i do my best <coughs> <coughs> it's not my language there's the name um this one is super super cute and it's on nice paper as well. I'm going to keep this, I think. It's tricky. It's hard. I want that one. I've got this Disney Princesses uh, Coloriage Art Therapy book. I've had this for a good long time. Done this one page. 
but um, I'm going to pass that one along as well, I think. Pop those in my keep pile. I know. I know. <coughs> but I told you, I have to be, I have to be strong about this. It has to be whittled down a crazy amount. I've got this little <coughs> magical jungle postcard set and these are these are super cute not sure i'll get to them but i am going to keep these they when i scroll through there are you know things jump out at me things i want to do so keep that for now oh i have a sixth one of these hmm Can I maybe part with the one I didn't even mm -hmm. No, I had. No, I can't. It's staying. Got some Carla Maganas. These are super easy, fun little colouring pages. I'm going to keep that. Love my little Hannah Lynn book. So I'm going to keep my fantasy faces and my sweet and simple. I do have this 100 Hugs by Chris Riddell because it was just kind of super popular at the time everyone was working on it and they just made it look so so beautiful uh, but i haven't touched it and so it's gonna go okay I'm keeping those put it on my little bookshelf um, I've got Mindful Links Back to Your Gang by Rita Berman. That is the uh, ruling, is that the Autumn Walk? Or the Spring Walk? It's one of the walks. Uh, I have not worked in this. I think I kept it for like one page. Gorgeous book. But I know for a fact if I'm going to work in hers, there's a, a couple of others that would jump at me first. So that one's going to go. I've got the Mine Rice Dush Asian. And uh, I am going to keep that. For now it's quite fun and then i do have some small selena fennec books which is why i was so um able to let go of my bigger ones i've got dark enchantment minis fadorables fadorables two, and a grayscale minis uh, and i'm going to keep all of those they i don't do as well with my small books <laughs> Uh, Joshua Dunbar, I have Halloween Cuties, that's new, I'm keeping it. Valentine's Cuties, I've done just the one page and I love him and I'm keeping it. Christmas Cuties, I think again, I've only done like the one page, but I do love how it came out and I'm keeping it. Um, I think somewhere, yeah, here he is, I have island cuties as well and i've done a few pages in here and also keeping it uh, then i have the tiny little horrors coloring book by uh glendent books mm, i've done this cute little page in here and i did enjoy it I could probably let this one go. I think some of the little figures are super cute, so I'm going to keep that one for now. Uh, I've got another white stag one here. I've got this Creepers and Haunts book. I've got this little red girl here that I did, and it's got all these fun kind of girls in. Am I going to colour anything else in there? I'm going to pass that one on as well. No, no, I'm not. I can't do it. I'm keeping it. Reptiloids 2, keeping. 
I tried. Um, I've got a Hannah Colson postcard postcard book. It's uh, the Valley of Vintage Roman. I've had this forever. Haven't worked in it. Mm. I am gonna keep it. Am I gonna keep it? Am I keeping that for keeping its sake? Yeah, but I'm still gonna keep it. Seasons, which. I just, I love this one as well. I've got the book, for God's sake, but I'm still going to keep that. And then I've got this cute little, uh, I think it's called The Sock Goblin. Yes, yeah, Sock Goblin by Manu Song. Uh, and this is just a gorgeous book on beautiful paper. And I haven't touched it. I've had it forever. Lavelia's colouring worked in this and her stuff is just so gorgeous. And I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that as well. My car's getting bigger. I have to maintain control. Okay. This is where it gets a bit insane. I have Coloriage Wild. I've got one off to one side. I've got two, three. Uh, four five six and seven let me find where i've got number one yep number one so i have all seven unless they've recently come out with a new one that i don't know about i've done all of two pages ever oh these are just my kind of illustrations i just love stuff like this they're on gorgeous quality card stock and they're all staying i'm not even going to flip through them <laughs> because i know i know they're all staying um definitely going to have to work on letting some portrait books go uh right winged beauty a very very coloring book this is absolutely stunning. It's on nice quality paper. Gorgeous book. It's got different artists in it. That is staying. Thought I was going to let that go for a moment, but I can't do it. It's staying. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. I've got a Grazio Salvo here. Uh, kindness the women of flowers collection again this is stunning card stock but um the faces aren't my favorite style uh, and i haven't touched it so that's gonna go i've got this grayscale edition whimsical fantasy cats by jeff haney this is i mean these are gorgeous illustrations they're on amazon print but I'm just, I'm never going to get around to this. So that is going. Oh, I've got, um, I've got a random mythographic here <laughs> by Fabiana Atanasio. Enchanted Castles. Yeah, I've had this. I've had this off to one side for a long time, trying to decide, trying to find a page that I want to work on. And I just realised that oh, I do this every time. Like, I'm never going to get round to this. <coughs> but I love some of the pages in it. But I'm not going to get to it. So I'm going to let that go. I've got the Joanna Basford 30 Days of Creativity. Uh, I haven't touched it. I'm not going to. I don't know why I bought it. I never draw. That's going to go. I've got Joanna Basford's Lost Ocean. I'm not a big mm, kind of seascape <coughs> fish colourist. They're not my favourite kind of thing. And I haven't touched this one and that's going to go. Oh, pal here of ones to go, I think. 
I've got a very nice colouring book by Eleni, Ellen Jureke. These are so cute, these illustrations. Absolutely. I was going to let this go on. No, I'm not. Keeping. Oh, God damn it. Happy Hoppers. Now, the bunnies, I just don't think I'll colour that one can go. Another career, Teresa Goodridge. I've got Country Farm Scenes. See, my books are all over the place. Mm. Yeah, that can go. Floral Fairies by Carol Craig. A Dove Colouring, Dover Colouring Book. Like, these are so, so beautiful. But it's a very thick line art. I'm just not going to get to it. That can go. I've got the Night Before Christmas Adorable Colouring Book. This is so cute. I saw Lucy from Lucy Just Adds Colour. Colour one of these. And it, it inspired me that much. How beautiful her page was that I bought the book. But then I just I haven't coloured in it. And I'm just not going to. So that can go. I've got Dada Chores and Mystica and this is a beautiful book God damn it <laughs> I want to keep it. I want to keep it, but am I going to colour in it? I mean, oh, I'm keeping it right. Okay, I've got Heather Valentine's uh, Lacey Sunshine Superheroes. I saw Elm Colours colouring this, and it her pages are so fantastic. Um. And this one was a gift from her when it was in my wish list because I'd seen her colouring it and her pages were so fantastic. And I just, I haven't gotten to it. That's going to have to go. Okay, we've got some Hannah Lynn. I've got loads of her books. I never colour in the big ones. So, hmm. some of these need to go. They're such beautiful books though. Enchanted Halloween, that's going to go. Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays, gorgeous. That's going to go. And then I have a few Charles Santo books. And I assume this is out because I was trying to decide on whether to colour in it. And that's going to go. Snow White, that's going gonna keep I'm gonna keep those two uh, okay I've got another Charles Santo here this is classic tales uh, so kind of a bit of everything that is gonna go uh, I've got a black river or cracked beauty I just, I mean, I love the artwork in here, but I'm just not going to work in it. That's going to go. I've got a couple of Bennett Klein books here. I've got Sketch, Grayscale Sketches 2. These are Amazon print. That's going to go. Uh, Bennett Klein, Colour My Sketchbook. That must be number one. That's going to go. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations, these. But I'm just not going to get to them. Book three. I mean, I've had these years. I haven't touched them. Someone else will use these. That is going to go. I've got Creepy Chibi, Cute Horror. Um, oh, I love this book like uh, a movie fans kind of uh, dream I guess but am I going to colour in it no but I'm going to keep it because 
no it's got to go it's got to go oh, things just have to go it is what it is uh, i have flower and gems also by grazia selvo and again it's this beautiful i mean it's a spiral bound lovely paper that is also going to go and then i have this mandala's night volume two from coloria um this is this is a stunning mandala book but i've had to win all my mandalas books at down a lot because i don't do them that often and i've got loads i have colored one page in this and it was sent to me oh two pages in this and it was sent to me so i'm gonna pop that to one side to just give that away Oh, right. I've got Gudrun Hall's Citizens of Floria. These are stunning books, but the AI uh, that has made these books has made so many mistakes that colouring them will be a nightmare. And that's going to go as well. Okay, so my phone died, but now uh, the day after. I am back again and we're going to continue. So I forgot to turn the lamp back on. We'll do that. We'll have as much light as we can. Okay. <laughs> and we're away again. So continuing on with the collection and decluttering said collection um, in order. Just pulling books off shelves. I have my two Tomislav Tomic books. These are... Um, I think they're still available from Amazon. It depends what country you get them in, dependent for what they're called. But mine are Spruxious Bus and Drum and Banger. He has two books um, all together. And I've only ever started this way, but these books are just so amazingly wonderful. Um, and they're on quality paper and they're single sided. So I am going to keep both of these. Um, I have been kind of, you know, staring at my pal since uh, the filming the other day and I have decided not to keep the Victorian wake. That one is going to go. Uh, so I've moved my pals and I now need to keep track of things. I am keeping that guy. Um, and I'm not going to keep Mr. either. I'm not going to work in this um over say my uh, fine colour books and such so that one is going to go as well uh let's see then shall we do my joanna basford what is left of her book seeing as i have quite a selection trying to locate where they all are on my shelves there they are um, get that stack out of the way. I have World of Flowers. This is one of my favourites and I am keeping. Um, I have actually worked in this quite a bit and so because of that, seeing as that is a rarity, this is definitely one that stays in my collection, albeit some early pa earlier pages. I still love it. I do have Rooms of Wonder. And I do really like this book. I've got this Forever Whip in here that I just really need to get back to. Um, and I do love this one, so I'm keeping that. This is where my fabulous, fabulous declutter starts to go quickly downhill. Um, I have Secret Garden. This is one of my very first book purchases. And I do have a few pages done in here. Uh, whether I'll work in it any further, I don't know, but I am going to keep it. I have Enchanted Forest. This was actually the first book I purchased. Uh, you can tell by the yellowing of this awful paper. I have done very, very little in this book. Uh, I think the the front page and i've got one whip in there i'm going to keep it for now but whether it survives many more declutters i'm not sure i do have joanna's bastard's um christmas and i do really like this book and i do 
want to keep it. I don't have many done in this either, but I love the couple that are done. I think I've got one in the back somewhere that just <laughs> needs finishing. I'm going to keep that. Maybe pull that out for December. I have Worlds of Wonder as well. And I've not worked in this much, but I've got a couple done. And I do love this book and I am going to keep it. And then I have Magical Jungle, which is actually one of my favourites, which surprises us all. It's got two of my favourite pictures that I've done in here as well and i've not worked in it much but i am keeping it i love it i never do well with decluttering joanna basford so not a shock that that went that way um okay <coughs> sorry my dear yuckers key say these are on amazon print unfortunately maybe if i had my collection to do again i would have started out by purchasing her pdfs from her store but I didn't go that way and to be honest it's the slightly nicer paper so they are workable in I have book eight book seven book six book four book three book one and if I have a little look in my box here very likely also <laughs> book five and I do not have many of these done at all um, and in fairness she falls second behind Christine Caron for me in my favourites um, but I do absolutely love and adore her work and I always tend to automatically buy her books even though I don't work in them very much so I am going to keep all of those Uh, let's see, from there we have Kirby Rosanis. I never do well with this either. I never work in his books. <laughs> I just don't because the pages are amazing but I don't quite have the amount of time required and then I end up not finishing them. I need to get back to that way but I absolutely love these. What I need to do is find maybe a media I like working with as much as pencil that will speed things up. I do have, right, Alien World Keeping. Love the page I did. It's pretty new. I also have Mythomorphia, which is an older book at this point. And one that I have not worked in. Just checking. So that's going to have to go. As much as I love it, like I said, got to be really strict about this. Too many books, not working in them. I have Imagimorphia. Uh, another absolutely wonderful book. And it's got this amazing piece that I started here. I can't see myself working in the book. Um, and you know what? I have pictures of this on my Instagram. So, oh, I don't know. Uh, that's a maybe. I'm going to have to put that in the maybe. That needs a bit of time to think about. I have Worlds Within Worlds. I love this book. I'm keeping this one. It's got one of my favourite completions in. Uh, I have a Wonder Morphia. I do love this one as well. It's why I don't feel the need to keep some of the older books. Um, and I do have a completed page in here, I think. Do I? Yeah, a completed page. Keep that one. I have a Mythic World. Yeah, I love this one. It's got a lot of kind of fantastical beasts. Um, and because of that, I think Fragile World. As cute and as fun as it is. I haven't worked in it. That one is going to go. 
This is my, my like past had to collect full sets syndrome problem that I had going on that, um, you know, I need to kind of whittle away. Now, because I've got rid of two of those, I think I'm going to keep my Imagimorphia for now. Like I say, it's mainly for that one page, which is ridiculous, but is happening. Okay, I have all four Denise Clip books. I think I've done it all of about one page. I have Fairies in Dreamland, which is my favourite, to be honest. I think I'm keeping that one. I have Mermaids in Paradise, which, although super, super fun, I never really colour mermaids or anything like that. And I don't think I've done a single page. So it's going to go. Gnomes in the, no in the Neighbourhood, which was my first one. And I do think I have done a page in here. I know I have. Somewhere, yeah. A really early one of mine. I'll keep that for now, I think. Although I do think... I do prefer the fairies. Hmm... Norms is gonna go. I know I've got a page in there, but it'll be on my Insta. I'll have a, a copy of it somewhere, I'm sure. Birds in the Forest is her newer one. And this is I love the sass of the birds. Um reminds me of Angry Birds, this book. But will I work in it? This was a gift, a lovely, lovely gift. And I love this book. But I'm not going to get to it. It's going to have to go. Oh, oh, I just I found my small one victories by Joanna Basford. That's new, that's staying. Uh, and of course my Reptiloids one. And you guys know. I love this book. I've done a lot of pages in here, which is a miracle for me. Um, it is Amazon print paper. Just goes to show you can work on it if you want to. Especially in the smaller books. They're just a joy, really. But I am also keeping that, of course. I might even complete it one of these days. I've got my spooklets, another column of gone, I sat off to one side here and I will be keeping that. I've got lots of pages done in there. Uh, let me see now. I've got a couple of the new Night Terrors books that came out. Do I only have one? I thought I had two. Hmm. I may find another one later, or maybe I only have the one. So, I have... I'm still checking. Still checking. Um, the Mythagoria. Sorry, not the Night Terrors, that's the name. The new Mythagoria books that have been coming out. I've, I bought Night Terrors because this is the one that I kind of fancied. And then, of course, you know, didn't touch. But I do like this. And I am going to keep this, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Oh, mouse guard. I mean, not even thinking about it. That's staying. Haven't even coloured in it. Never touched it. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I do have a few colorier books in my collection dotted about. Um, this is Wonderful Little World Volume 2. These are, I mean, these are fabulous. There's so much thunder on really nice cardstock. Again, don't colour a lot of Christmas pictures. What's the chances I will get to these? I have started one as well. But, oh, I love that. It's going to have to go. Somebody else will work in that. And, and use that instead of it just sitting. I found another random trees of Goodwitch here. Village Charm. I think this is a newer one. Oh, I do like that. See, I have so many, I don't even know what books. You see, I do sit and flick through my books. I love them for the artwork they are. So some I keep literally for that. This was a Prezi as well. I'm going to keep that one. 
uh, I have this little view. <laughs> This, uh, this is what I mean. This is why I want to be able to get to some of these um, instead of forgetting what I have because there's so much stuff going on. Like, how cute is this book? Obviously, it's staying. <coughs> I have Stephanie Law's Secret Worlds, which is also on gorgeous paper, gorgeous artwork, and a beautiful book. But it is so detailed. I haven't touched it. It's going to go. I can't believe I'm doing that. But it is because I know I'm not going to get to it. Uh, I have this little beauty. I think this is a... Uh, it's the Victorian Fantasy Collection. I can't remember who it's by. This has got really beautiful pictures to it single-sided smaller format nice paper keeping i have my christine karen wildflower four you know i'm keeping i do have maggie and terry Ors's flowerscape in paradise <coughs> i am keeping this one am i am i am i i do like this but will i pick this up over a joanna basford i'm not sure it's so beautiful I've seen such gorgeous pages done I'm not going to keep it I'm not going to work in it uh, Mythographic Aviary I absolutely adore this book it's definitely one of my favourites haven't worked in it yet because you know that's the current theme but I am going to keep that it's beautiful I've got another wonderful little world hobbies book here by Coloria this one is volume 3 again it's so cute but i don't color a lot of cue and i have a lot of cue and seeing as i haven't touched this book it's going to get passed on keep those past that at least it's getting willowed down a little bit i have arita berman devout hunter de Lutza land this one has hung into my collection for an awful long time because when i first got my books you know obviously i have worked in here i've got a few pages early pages done but i don't it's not going to survive this round that's going to go Oh, we've got a little stack of Colouring Heaven here. I've got uh, Fantasy Creatures Special by Selena Fennec, uh, issue 95. I have my little Fedorable box now, so I just know I'm not going to use that, so that can go. I've got the Steampunk Special, which is issue 74, designs by Matt and Dawn Davidson. I love the Matt Davidson pages in here absolutely love but again oh, i do like them though but i don't like the others so it's like half the boat that's gonna go i have got this mermaid special and this is full of anastasia elliot calderiva which is like so amazing but i have her big book so that's gonna go and i've got Fledgling Fairies here, more designs by Christine Caron. And does this have any exclusives <laughs> in it? Like, sometimes these have exclusive pages that. It's going to have to go, let's be honest, if I want to colour Christine Caron, I've got plenty to choose from. I have a random Christina McAllister here, Magical Beauties. I've had this a really long time um, and I love the pages in here. I just love the unique, fun artwork of it. I do believe I have done a page, is it in this one or is it in my other one? might be in my other one um 
oh i really like this i think i'm gonna keep it i have the baker's dozen by uh wendy ilderson and aaron shepherd these are so gorgeous and were sent to be by the illustrators like it's a book it's a story book as well but again i'm not going to get to that that's going to go um this is going to be a maybe i'm gonna, I'm gonna pop that to one side Okay, I've got a little handful of colour by numbers here. It's been an age since I touched a colour by number. I've got this Flowers by Colour Questopia. I think ones that I haven't got any work in are going to go. That's empty, that can go. I've got Flowers, a stained glass colouring book. I have worked in that, but I'm not going to. That I will pass along to maybe a <coughs> friend or family that wants it. I've got this Sun and Moon colouring book by Cam Camellia Angel Cover. This was a lovely gift as well, but look, I haven't gotten to it. I very rarely do mandalas, and if I do, it tends to be the white line ones, so that is going to have to go. I've got 50 spiral mandalas. Have I done anything in this? I have not. That's going to have to go. Oh, I need a moment. <laughs> Ah, the pain. Right. Uh, I've got the one book by Wee Shen Ong that I kept. I have Starry Night 2. Hmm. I've never worked in this, but these are so lovely. That's going to have to go in the maybe and we'll see just how many books like that I have. I've got The Mice Before Christmas colouring book by Wendy Addison and Anne L. Watson. Again, this is so cute and it's got a story to it. I love this. And I would keep it just for the book that it is, to be honest. But someone else can colour it. I'm going to pass it on. I have a Rachel Mintz here, Ice Cream Houses. And again with the computer generation i'm not really going to work in this i'm going to pass that on i have monuments of italy this was sent to me by the lady this is her first book that she brought out and she is called carla teshe this is you know really different she's designed this herself with a little bit of information about the monuments um and i was really grateful to receive it but someone else will color it so those are both going to go oh these are more difficult kawaii girls four books in one by jade summer and i have most of these books separately so i'm not going to keep this big back up that can go oh i'm not sure it's very difficult to let go of these. You guys know how much I enjoy. But I have so many. And what's my chances of getting through them and then doing a backup? That's got to go while I haven't coloured in it. Um, I also, in that vein, have this Mermaids colouring book. Again, mermaids are not my favourite, but I have done a couple in here. Have I done a couple or have I done one? Yeah, one more. Uh, she looks like the She-Hulk. Um, and I am going to pass that one on as well. I have Julia Spirit, An Enchanting World. And this is so cute. So, so cute. But am I going to pick it up over other books? No, that's going to go. I've got this advanced colouring book. Uh, dots and i love this book and they make the most fun um pictures they're like a little puzzle challenge and this is the one i've started but it, it's my eyes are too old <laughs> my eyes are too old uh, and you'd put the different colors in and then it creates the picture as it starts to build up so i'm going to pass that one on as well got another Bennett Klein here sketchbook four oh. 
trying not to spend too much time on them because I'll just keep everything in the world. I'm going to pop that in my maybe. Uh, another Colouring Heaven Halloween Special issue 80. I do love their Halloween specials with a little bit of everything. But again, if I'm going to, I'm going to pick up a Sarah Richter book on its beautiful pages, Anna. And seeing as I haven't as yet worked in this one and I have the Sarah Richter pages in my collection, I'm going to let that go. Wow. <laughs> I'm obviously in one of those moods. I'm going to regret all this later. Okay, I have Coloria Flower Mandalas. Again, beautiful, unique kind of mandala -y pages. I'm not going to get to this. I haven't touched it, so that can go. And I have Mandalas Volume 3. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the same. That can go. They're beautiful. Somebody will love those. So they can go. Oh, my word. Right. Let's pull down another pile. So many get to get to. I may have to split this video in half. I'm not sure. But then it just always feels like, you know what I mean? You can just watch it in parts. Um, I don't know. I feel like people prefer One Piece. I have the Fantasy Princess Special by Josh Lee. I love Josh Lee. I never get to work in his books. Probably I'm going to keep it just because it's his Gods and Goddesses and Chibi. And then I have Creatures of the Night, which is exclusive dark designs by Sarah Richter. And I love this, but I have all three of her books now on really lovely quality paper. And some of the illustrations I was keeping this for, <coughs> that one and this one and this one uh, and this one are all in my book. So that can go. They're staying because I won't be letting my book score. So I've got another Halloween special here, issue 66. Again, I love this. But will I pick it up over something else? No, that's going to go. Gothic Alchemy special. This is one of the first ones I got, issue 60. I just, I adore this book. And although I will probably never colour in it, I am going to keep it for the fabulous artwork that it contains. I have another Jashley here, a colourful adventure storybook. I'm going to keep that. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to pop all my Jashleys into my maybe pile and compare them to the actual books of his that I have. I have a Fairy Topia special here, which is Mystic Art Mirrors. This is the only Mystic Art book I have so I'm going to keep that I have fantasy figures uh, designs by Maud Lamon and although absolutely fabulous again will I pick these portraits up over some of my favorites no I absolutely will not those are both going you can see why I've gotten a lot pickier about the books that I pick up now um, I've completely changed my book habits even though I have the channel I'm really not just purchasing books um I have to really really want them uh, again haven't touched it that's gonna go bad girls halloween special issue 93 this is absolutely Beautiful, <coughs> as always. I think I am going to keep that one. I'm going to pop that in my 
maybe pal i have this gothic fantasy special which has images by any guerrero and i don't have any of her books so i am going to keep this because it is beautiful i have a hatsune miku and that is mainly nostalgia because i'm a gamer probably never coloring it but i will keep it because of that reason i've got some more of these very mice books i've got a very mice volume two I love the little micey ones. I'm going to keep that. And I have volume three as well. I've never coloured in any of these. So I do probably need to winnow it down to which one. And I've got a bear nice, very nice colouring book. Now that one can go. Uh, dragons is going. The mice are staying. My dorming colouring book, absolutely staying. have done one beautiful picture in this that i've got this mandala's gone wild by dino tomic again absolutely beautiful book this one am i going to actually get to it working it oh this is hard I do love this book but i think the answer to that is no and so because of that i will let that go Okay, I have a big pile <coughs> of Creative Haven here. All my Creative Haven tend to be Teresa Goodridge. So some of these really do need to go at this point. Home Sweet Home. It has a lot of interiors, which I don't colour. That needs to go. Winter Wonderland. You know, what's my chance I'm going to sit and colour snow on this I'm going to maybe that for a moment. I have this Futuristic Worlds by Josh Carrington, which is like super fun. And again, I haven't touched it. And I don't really think with the thick line art that I'm going to, to be honest. But that's a tricky one. That's a maybe. <laughs> it's a cat's world. Oh, this is too cute. I think I'm going to keep that one. Winged Fantasy Designs by Aaron Porcott. This has survived a good few rounds, but I've never touched it. And it's amazingly beautiful, but I don't think I'm going to. That's going to go. Same with this. I keep it because I love the book, but I'm not going to work in it. That's going to go. Uh, Fantasy Designs, again, by Aaron Porcott. Again, super fun pages. Mm. Will I touch it? I think I'm going to keep that one though. I've been pretty good. Uh, Teresa Goodridge, wish you were here. Uh, this is kind of like a super fun destinations one. And I do like a lot of the pages in here. So I'm going to keep that one. Autumn Charm I love. I'm going to keep that one. Country Gardens, I really like the garden ones, so I'm going to keep that. Country Charm, yeah, I do like that, I'm going to keep that. And Autumn Scenes, I also really like. Mm. And I have done a page in here. Will I do an actual another page though? No, I won't. I'm going to take my page out. I'm going to pass that along. I might label that one because I'll never remember where it, where it came from. Teresa Goodridge. Autumn. Scenes. Uh, should I keep that one? Because then that's the only winter one I actually have. I'm going to keep that one for now. Oh, 
those in my keep pile. These are going too many again but what can you do i've got this a walk in the woods by dot ball or this has survived many declutterings as well just because it, it's so beautiful but again i don't think i'm going to color it that needs to go <clears throat> my Col colin thompson's coloring book staying i love this i know i haven't touched it but i just love the book itself either way um and then i again have these kind of asian themed books i've got the five here i've got this costume designs one and these are just truly beautiful and I am going to keep, I think this is called <coughs> Time Traveller. And again, this is just really pretty. Lots of hair, which is right up my street. I'm going to keep that. Um, and then this one, Colouring Book of Flowers and Sweet Girls. Again, really beautiful. But realistically, I'm going to pick that up over the other two. I am not. So that one will go. And then these two. Uh, I think I started out with four of these. And I have whittled it down to the two. Because they're just so beautiful. And they are nice paper, these. Uh, I do like that one and I do like that one oh yeah I'm gonna keep keep the two and keep the two managed to get rid of one though and that's unusual for me I do find these beautiful books difficult to uh, pass along whether I'm working in them or not unfortunately for the most part okay Let's have another bio. I've got um, a couple of Christina McAllister's here. I've got Serenaya, which is on Amazon print. But I just love this book. It's just so cute. And then I've got Lost Lumina. Which I think this is probably the one that I've done a page in. And it's rather similar to Magical Beauties. So I might keep Lost Lumina and get rid of Magical Beauties. So I've got that down to two. Right, Christine Caron. This won't go well. I've got the new Fairy and Fantasy 5. I've got Fairy and Fantasy 4. I've got Characters Through Worlds and Times, Fairies 3, 2, and one fairy and fairy tale characters fairy and fantasy two and if i go into my little box over to the side here it will have in it fairy and fantasy and fairy and fantasy three i just love these books and they're not going anywhere but then i have benny blue two And Benny Blue. And you know what? Out of the two, I love the one that's got the edge in. So Benny Blue two, I am going to get rid of my Christina. Caron, well done me. And keep five million. But, you know, I just, let's be honest, most of the time, if I'm going to pick up this kind of book, it's actually these that I'm going to work in. And I have actually worked in these somewhat which just goes to show, seeing as I have so little actual completed pages, that I do really enjoy. And uh, that one's a body colour that's been going on forever. Love to work in these. Some of these aren't even touched. I don't think they've got no pages in, but I'm still, I'm keeping them all. That one I am a bit precious about having a full collection. I know that's ridiculous, but yeah. I nearly put them in my to-go pile then. 
I've got this Coco Wire weird couple and I just, I don't know what it is. It's definitely the goth lover in me. Uh, this is just so cute. I don't think I will ever colour in this. Like, I really don't think so. But I'm not ready to part with it either. So I'm going to keep that one. Okay. Yeah, we have April. I have all three April books. They're lovely, they're amazing, they're beautiful. I've never touched any of them. I mean, mainly because I just have too much stuff. Um, but they're just so iconically wonderful. And they, they weren't cheap to get. Not going to lie. Um, I am going to keep them. Because I think I will be ready to play with those one day. And I'm just not yet. So I'm going to keep those. I have this Lady Spring. This was not cheap. I uh, bought this from Etsy, I believe. And this is artwork by a mixture of artists. Um, and again, it is on lovely uh, thick paper and this beautiful hardbound book. And I am going to keep this. Again, I have not touched it, but hopefully that will change. And then I have, I can't remember the name of this book. Can't remember for the life of me what it's called, but it's the one where you get um, the original and a faint line copy. And it is stunningly beautiful. Whether I'll work in it, I'm not sure, but I do want to keep it. I do enjoy portraits, apparently. I have many, many of them. Okay, <sighs> still going. I have uh, my Charles Santo collection, what's left, obviously, two I have passed on. I've got The Night Before Christmas, The Wizard of Oz, and Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. I've never touched any of these, not a single one. It's probably the size of the book, so I'm not good at committing to big pages, but I'm also not ready to pass along any of these three books so ridiculously i am going to keep those i know um camilla derico i have four of her books and i think i've done about two pages <sighs> i do love these books whether i'll work in them is a different matter so I've got the original, I've got mermaids, dragons, And cute and creepy. I think for now I will keep my dragons. I'm going to keep my cute and creepy. I think the original and mermaids can go. Uh, see if I get any work done in these. Okay, I've got a couple of Alan Robert books and as much as I'm a horror lover, I don't really colour these at all and I only ever got two of them. I've got Beauty of Horror 2, Guliana's Creep Emporium. Which is go really fun. And Beauty of Horror 4 because this was Creature Feature and I am an old horror movie buff. And because of that, I always keep this and probably always will. Uh, I think this is going to go because I have a few horror books and let's be honest, therefore, if it's not going to be one of the ones that I would pick up, there's really no point. I love this thing. It's staying. Colouring with your octopus. This book is so fun. This was a, a beautiful gift. Um, there is a, a flip through of this on my channel and she's just too fun and she's staying. Got a couple more Black River art books here. Again, 
absolutely beautiful box uh, and I have done a page in here somewhere I can never find it oh for god's sake Makes you doubt yourself, but I know I have. There. I am going to keep that one. And then I have Dream World, which was another one of my very first books. And I've got a few videos up on the channel. I think my first ever colouring video um, is probably this one. And that's up on the channel. It might be my second. My first might be out of... Uh, my reptiloids and just because of the nostalgia in this book i am going to keep it for those reasons alone it's those two are going to stay i've got some Ellie, anastasia ellie called Dereva. i've got mermaid legends beautiful i've got mysteria serenity and nocturnes these came as a four pack i've not touched any of these again probably because of the size of the books uh, they came as a four set mm, i love that one serenity again just beautiful faces beautiful ladies i love that one mysteria Oh, I love that. But let's be honest, Mermaid Legends, that one can go. They were not cheap, but someone else will love that. We will keep the three, which is still a ridiculous amount that I'm never going to get to. Oh, <coughs> right. I've got three big shelves left yet, people. This is ridiculous. So, from there. We tackle my Jasmine Beckett Griffith collection. I've got her original. I love this. Never touched it. It's on that really annoying paper. I've got the Halloween book. Again, love this. Done one page quite some time ago. And I've got Alice. And I do really love this. Whether I touch them, I don't know. But these were quite hard to get and I am going to keep them. I do like having them. I also have this uh, Steampunk Lady Mechani Mechanica by Jaws Benitez. I haven't touched this either. I just love this and I would love to work in it. And when I feel like that about the book, I am going to keep it. Um, okay. Uh, just trying to pull, pull, out, pull out patches. Okay, we have my Jashley books here. Uh, I've got the Fantasy Collection love this i think i've done a couple of pages this was a color along on the channel uh, this was a buddy color and if i had more time it would be amazing to get to some of these uh, they're just so cute another buddy color see what i mean all of one page just never get to things Flower Ladies, beautiful. Love this book as well. So because of that, um, let's see, Chibi.
So the chibi, I already have. Super wondering whether just kind of how similar the books are. Yeah, I feel like they're pretty much the same. Let's see where we end on. We end with Zeus Chibi. So essentially the same book. The big book can go because I haven't coloured in it. Somebody would love that. Chibi can go. Uh, Gods and Goddesses. Is this going to be the same as... So I've got Zeus. Okay, so I don't feel like this is the same. But I also don't feel like out of the books I have of his that I'm going to colour this one. So Gods and Goddesses can go as well. Fantasy Princesses. Now this may be the one that matches this. Oh, no. No, it would appear this is different. I love these, so that's staying. This is um not repeated in the other book, so that will become my new my Jasley is still up to five <laughs> and I've coloured two pages, but that got rid of a couple, so the rest of those are staying. I've got this beautiful Jana Prosperina Fairies Grey Scale. Again, this is Amazon print. This was a wonderful gift from a lovely friend. I know it's a pale print, so it will cover nicely. But when I get to it, especially when I tend to you, you do a lot more. In the Amazon, I actually prefer line art in the plain Amazon paper. <sighs> I'm going to pass that along. I have these two gorgeous uh, books by Linda Ravencroft. These are on a stunning cardstock and these are just really beautiful. Now, am I going to keep both? Or only one. If I'm going to colour in one, it's going to be this one. So I'm going to let book six go. Oh, I'm being brave today. Uh, she says that as she gets to the Jade Summer. This is a, weirdly a different deal. You think these would be so easy to part with, but when I just want to relax, I love the Jade Summer Grayscale because you can just colour uh, with markers. I have Vampires, it's staying. I have Kawaii Horror, uh, it's staying. I've got Fairies and it's staying. Alice in Wonderland, it's staying. Light and Dark Fantasy staying kawaii. Not as keen on the grayscale in this one. Well, I love the super cute pages I already did and they were buddy colours. <coughs> Keeping. Art Nouveau. This is just kind of super detailed and tricky with markers and it kind of takes the relaxing bit out of it and I have only done one page in here I'm gonna let that one go chibi christmas staying cute fairy staying cute witch is staying nightmares my favorite and staying I've got the chibi girls all in one um, like just a literal redo of everything and even though I literally said earlier like you know what's the chances I just love these so much I am going to keep it at least for now 
because I'm ridiculous. Um, and yes, this is this is how many Jade Summer pages I have, and yet still feel the need to keep this. Um, in fact, saying that, I also will have very lightly. Yeah, I've got my Chibi Girls two in one as well, which is the one that I'm currently trying to complete. I'm going to keep it for now. The four in one, we'll see. I found another. Found another daily day you could kiss. Say, I must be working on a page or thinking about it. Oh, another buddy colour. Ridiculous. Keeping. I'm like I've no room to stand anymore in between these stacks. Right. I need to not mix up my piles. Uh. So from there we go into. Let's see, Heather Valentin, another just gorgeous set of books that I've never touched, but I do really, really like this one. And it is bordered, so I'm keeping. I have also got the Enchanted Frozen Kingdom. Now, this was one of the first pictures I ever saw from Elm Colours. It's what drew me to her channel, and it was just gorgeous. And again, it's just so pretty. I'm going to keep that. And then Illuminations. My pages have yellowed. So although I love this book, absolutely. It is a shame, but I am keeping. Because they're just such fun illustrations. Okay, my Hannah Lynn big collection. No matter how much I really want to colour in these, I never really do. I do prefer her smaller books and yet they turn out so fun so I have Whimsy Girls Around the World keeping Princesses keeping, Tattoo keeping Mythical Maiden keeping Victorian Darlings Steampunk, Mermaids and Fairies and The Early Works Grayscale and although I was going to pass this one along I then realised that you can have fun with markers like I do in my Jade Summer books and now I'm keeping that one as well yeah, I know, I did so well in the beginning, but, you know, some of them have to stay, they just do. Right, I then have my beautifully stunning set of Sarah Victor books, where is my other one? Bear with me, it's over here. Including my newest one. Which is this one these are amazing and this is why i've let a lot of my gothic books go because if i'm going to work in some i really want to work in these i haven't touched any of these and that is criminal um i've got Countergrow, nach warmer and dunkle bun you can get these amazingly ridiculous beautiful books on amazon for a not ridiculous price which is just crazy and if you're a diamond painter, she does do quite a few diamond paintings with Diamond Art Club as well. And, I mean, there's a little bit for everything from the gothic lovers <coughs> among us. These are so cute. Uh, this was the original Dunkle Bunt. But this is why I could let go of my um, Colouring Heaven magazine because I do actually have the fabulous illustrations now. So I'm keeping all three of those. They're fantastic. <coughs> right. We then move on to my, if any of you are the same, I am sure, my crazy Hannah Calls on collection we'll call it what it is it is a hannah calls on collection um i have pre-ordered her atlantis book because i do love the little books and although i keep saying i don't like mermaids that doesn't mean i won't be getting hers so i've got hex and sugo which i believe is welcome to the witch's cottage i've just done a couple in here keeping love my favourite of hers is Tales from the Forest Kingdom, or is it Baratul Sir Franz Skrika? Don't know how to say that. 
uh, and again I've done a few pages in this one as well this is why I need to get my collection down because the books I love do not get the kind of attention that they deserve I have uh, Tales from the City Among the Stars I think it is this is my newest one of hers and I haven't even touched this yet I need to remedy that and then I have Grains of Gold which is a, a bit of a a collection book with some new drawings in and so although I have all, most of her books I'm still keeping that one for now I think at some point I'm going to be able to let this go to be honest I've got Daydreams I mean I'm flicking through these but let's be honest you know I'm, I'm not going to let these go Keeping Magical Dawn Keeping, I've only got a couple. I've got this whip that needs finishing. I've only got, and the my most hated picture in the world. So you think I would want to get rid of this book, but I don't. I love it. I have seasons. Uh, not sure what I have completed in here, but again, just love these books. Keeping soulmates. Keeping, done all about one page in each book, I think. If that, yeah, just the one. Keeping, Summer Nights, don't think I've even done a page in there. And Jewelry Box. And I can flip through these to my heart's content, trying to kind of whittle it down. And I can't. This is a bit like my Christine Caron. They're just, they're staying. Keeping 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 everything love them and when i'm so you know that's when you know just keep the book <laughs> just keep them what difference does it make just keep it i've got symphony of cute animals by kano koigusa this is a recent purchase i never got it originally um but they have released them over here now so i did grab it i haven't worked in it because i have too many books but hopefully i'll be able to get some pastels or some inks out and remedy that i've got this disney mosaics book which i wanted so so bad when i first saw it so so bad and my dog ate it and i rebought it which is why it's kind of ridiculous that i'm not going to not going to keep it i've purchased that twice for no reason um that one is going to go disney mosaics because i know if i'm going to color it's going to be in my disney vitro i've got silhouette magic these are really really fun they kind of cut the characters out of the image themselves and I am going to keep that for now. Just to see if I get any pages done in there. Probably could let that one go, but I think I'd like to keep it. I've got Grazia Salvo's loveliness. And although beautiful, her faces don't appeal to my colouring style. And I know I have other portrait books that I will gravitate towards first. So I'm going to let that one go. I have both the Googly colouring books. Fine colour and colourful time. These are absolutely staying. These are why I'm whittling my collection down. So that I can get to amazing books like this. Uh, They're just absolutely gorgeous. Keeping both of those. And then I'm going to finish off this shelf and uh, pause this video for a while while I have a bit of a sort out. I have Grazia Salvo's Wild Soul. Uh, 
And while, like I said, her faces don't appeal to me, I do think this book is stunning. It was not cheap to get. But then is that the reason to keep a book? Am I ever going to colour in this? Could I sell this and recoup a little bit of my money and let someone have some joy from it? Oh, God damn it. It comes with the print that it originally came with. Oh, I'm going to let that go. Wild Soul. This is uh, other people are colouring them on YouTube making beautiful pictures. And I bought the book and shouldn't have bothered. Uh, I have the Eerie books, uh, Romantic Country 1 and 2. I never managed to get hold of 3. But then I haven't coloured in the first two anyway. They are super cute though. I'm going to keep them for now. I have the Briar colouring book and this, although I've never touched it, is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I am going to keep that one as well. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to take a little break. It will make no difference for to you, to you guys, but I will be back with the next shelf very shortly. Okay, we're off again. Round 53 million. So I have some Carla Magana books here. Um, I do like these just for kind of fun, cute little pages to work on. Bit of alcohol marker, you know, just a bit of fun. Uh, we Wicked, I don't think I'll work in that, that can go. Uh, Belle Pipistrelle, I really like this one, however. I do prefer her portraits to anything else, I'll keep that. Graveyard Girl, again it's just full of portraits, so I'll keep that. Spooklets Volume 1, just love, keep that. Roko Gogo. Yeah, again, these are just the ones I like. I'll keep that. Hot Tropics. <laughs> I love the big butts in this. Uh, keep that. So those are staying. I have put some of my books away so I can create new pals. Uh, the Fantastic World of the Brothers Grimm by Forrest Diver. I do really like this. It is Amazon print. So I'm not going to work in it. I'm going to pass it on. Julia Spirit, Whimsical Wonders. I've kept this for such a long time because it is just super cute. Really simple, fun little drawings. And I did this such a long time ago. But I'm going to keep that. I'm going to pop that in my maybe pile. I've got Camellia Angel Culver 50 Summer Miniatures. I've got rid of most of these now. But I do like this one of all of them. So that's the one I'm going to keep. That can go. Uh, okay. Just pile a few books up. That's all my stuff falling over. Okay, my Clara Markova. I have Fairy Touch of Magic, Magical Delights, Fairy Celebrations, Tenderful Enchantments, Fairy Miracles. I haven't purchased a new one because they are very expensive to get hold of now. And because, I mean, let's be honest, this should last me forever. So there's no reason to buy new ones. Um, and although these are far too many to have, I am keeping these. Um... I got these before it became such a big deal to be able to deliver these over here um, and became so expensive to purchase anything for, you know, before we left the European Union, basically. Um, so I am, as always, keeping those. Another set of books I always want to get back round to and never do. I've got Maggie. Oh, I do have the flower skate. Maggie Interior's original flower skate. 
Now I didn't keep the Paradise one and this is super pretty. I'm going to keep that. I've got the Flower Year by Lila Dooley. See, these always seem like good purchases at the time. I'm not going to work in that. I'm going to pass that on. It's uncoloured. Uh, I've got a couple, keep that one, pop that in my pack, of Lulu Mayo books. I've got a million magical creatures. And this was the kind of Halloween-y one. And I have worked in this a couple of times. And I love the little pages that I've done. So I am going to keep that one. I've got a million cute animals. And this one is kind of calling me and I will keep for now. And then a million unicorns, which for some reason I always keep. I just think this looks so cute. I don't really know why, because then I don't colour in it. But I'm going to keep it for what it is. I've got my Fright and Seek Lay Melendress. I've had this forever. I've never touched it, but it just is kind of the doodle book that I always keep. I'm keeping that one. Uh, I have Ken Matsuda's colouring book, haven't touched this either, but absolutely stunning and I want to, so I will keep that. <coughs> I've got this Kelly Horton book, The Darling Collection, uh, portraits and it was hardback and it's on Amazon print, so I'm going to get rid of that one, very disappointing, I love her face it is so i would love to work in hers but i might just grab a couple of her pdfs that's gonna go i have these kevin tail art books and his work is absolutely stunning uh but again will i grab these I'm trying to work out if it's on the original amazon print or the slightly nicer one Will I grab these over mine, my usual favourites? And they're so fun, but they are on Amazon print. I'm going to keep one. I'm going to keep the manga style. Going to get rid of Mysterious Faces and the Manga Style too. I'm going to do that and then we'll see if we work in that one. Okay, from there I have my Maria Troll books. Or Trolley, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, Again, this is one of those, I love the books because they're just so pretty. and I've worked in them a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, my awful water. I mean, I love this one, so I'm keeping that. That's Luna. I just find it really hard to part with these. I'm going to keep Mandalin because that's another of the beautiful new ones. And I do really love her newer versions. The problem is, as soon as I flick through these, it makes me want to keep them. But then I never pick them off my shelves to colour. And realistically, these two have so many floor I can go because uh, I don't think I've actually worked in that one, so might as well. And uh, Nightfall. Hmm, I do like this one. I've got a whip in here. <laughs> Forever whip. That was an old buddy colour. Pretty sure my buddy's given up on me by now. Uh, I'm going to keep that one. And then I have booked how many come. Oh, and I love this one as well. It's super cute. It's probably one of my favourites, actually. So, yeah, okay. And I've got a whip in there. Like a forever whip. Oh, but I did write my pencils down. So, okay. Well, you know what? At least I've passed one on. Keeping four. Not excellent, but... Um, I think they're just a staple in my collection at this point. That's just going to be one of those that just lasts forever. I have my Mel Pamini Chatsy Panigore 2 collection here. I think this is all three of the books 
that she's done so i've got enchanted earth which i haven't worked in yet but gorgeous i love her books i'm keeping i've got nature mandalas which out of the three isn't my favorite because i'm not a mass fan of coloring repeating pictures so realistically that one's gonna go i haven't touched it it's uncolored so i'm gonna pass that because i do have my circle of life and this one i have actually worked in and loved and enjoyed and there are a few videos of this on the channel uh, it doesn't seem like it does it but yeah two uh three love this one as well four and i love the pages i've created which always makes me more likely to come to a, back to a book so okay i'm keeping two of the three there uh do love those books got a bit of an avalanche situation going on in the corner here i'm going to have to just uh, move a few things, I think. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I probably should have paused these bits in between, but <laughs> I haven't. So you get to see the real process. Uh, right. Okay. I have Fanciful Fairy Fashion by Meredith Dillman. This is a super gorgeous book. That is just lost in my collection. It is Amazon print. And although absolutely, you know what? No, I'm going to keep it. I was talking myself out of it, but it's really beautiful and I want to keep it. Uh, right, my Morgan O'Brien collection. Let's call it what it is. It is a collection. I've got The Way Home. Haven't coloured in it, keeping it. Welcome to the Village. Haven't coloured in it, keeping it. Matchstick Mouse. Magic, mas sorry, Matchstick Mouse Christmas, Magic Mouse Springtime, Matchstick Mouse Pumpkin Party, the new Matchstick Mouse Winter, Matchstick Mouse Halloween, Matchstick Mouse Autumn, Matchstick Mouse Floral. Is that, is that all of them? Yep. Uh, and then North Pole Elves. It is ridiculous. I am keeping all of them. I'm not even going to scroll through. Just in love with the mouse. And I do come back to these and colour these. And I do love these. And I am keeping them. Uh, I found another Hannah Coles on. How could I forget my Tales from the Masquerade? Uh, again, these are. this is one of my favourites. And I, I will be keeping. Haven't worked in it very much at all but keep that pop that one back on the shelf oh see i have books everywhere they're everywhere everywhere i've just found another matchstick mouse oh that was my pile finally tipping over bear with me a moment okay i fixed that problem i found another matchstick mouse uh summer keeping i found <laughs> Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna Basford. I never colour in this thing, but I want to. So, again, keeping, 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 keeping. Uh, Mine Rice to Europa by Rita Berman. I am keeping this one. I do actually really like this one. Keeping. Okay, that caught me up on the ones that... I had confused for this. So I've got this Molly Harrison, the Enchanted Fairy. This is a grayscale fairy colouring book, but I do just love the little fairies in this. And I am going to keep that one. One of my favourite early pieces in here. I'm going to keep. I've got Monia Gates, Colour My Dreams 2. Again, just stunning. It is on Amazon print. Um... It is such a wonderful book, but I'm not going to get to it. I'm going to pass that on. I have, which one is this? 
Uh, more more girl girls with music another beautifully stunning boat that i have not worked in but i do love this and this is the only one from more more girl that i bought i behave myself in this at least i'm gonna keep that one as well okay i'm gonna go through the rest of my crazy lithographic collection Uh, just finding places to put random things right i have voyage this is one of my favorites of the mythographic and i do have this lovely page if you forget that bit that i've done in here so keeping i really love joseph Cattenbank. uh magical earth again it's just gorgeous i never color in these but I do love them. Keeping Aquatic. Now I was going to say that I'm not going to keep this because it's blah blah blah. But then I flip and I'm keeping Wild Winter. Oh, <laughs> God's sake. Yeah, I just don't think I can get rid of a Just Joseph Cattenbang one keeping let's see if i have better luck with the fabiana uh frozen fantasies i'm pretty sure i've been umming and awing about passing this one on for some time because again i don't it feels a bit christmasy does this but you know what i'm going to make a trade so i kept uh, the Teresa Goodridge Winter Wonderland so that I would have something kind of frozen and Christmassy. So I'm going to get rid of this one instead so that I can keep frozen fantasies. I know that makes no sense. I've got Cosmic Spirit. And again, I just wouldn't think I would like this, but I really do. Odyssey. Really need to get rid of some of these. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm never going to colour in any of them. Keeping Dream Garden. I really like this one. Love this. Oh, so beautiful. And therefore, realistically, ever going to colour all this ice? I'm not. I'm, the Frozen Fantasies can go as well. And you know what? The Winter Wonderland can still go because obviously I'm not that bothered. Uh, Imagine. This is one of my earlier ones. Oh, I was going to, but I love this one as well. And I've got this beautiful piece. This was actually um, one of the very few colour alongs that I've ever coloured along with. This was a Julie's passion for colouring. Keeping Paradise. I think I've got a whip in here. Mm. I'm going to keep that for now. I must have a whip in here. I'm sure I do. Is that what that tag is? Oh, sorry guys. I do. Not a great whip. But there is one. Right, I'm going to keep it for now. Animals. See, I'm like, mm, this one can go. And then I flip through and it's got all these beautiful. This was one of the first ones. And I've got a couple of old, old whips in here. I was so proud of this at the time. <laughs> so so proud when you first start and you oh, i can't i can't part with them i'm keeping i'm keeping the biggest pile of mythographic books you've ever seen and yes i have ordered the new mythagoria and i've got the new <laughs> the new mythographic on pre-order because i'm an idiot wayne anderson's enchanted forest pictora 
this is stunningly beautiful um and i'm just i'm not i'm not going to color it as much as i want to i'm not going to so before i start it i'm just going to pass it on okay uh ronnie cpo doodle adventure in land emotion it's a doodle book i've kept my lee mandris one so this one can go i've got rj hampson night garden and i do think these books are awfully cute but again i'm not going to color them rj hampson christmas tiny homes now this one is super cute but again What's the chance I'm going to colour it? None. That's going to go. Sarah Buria, World of Fairies. This is... This is realistically too cute to pass on. I'm going to keep that. Those can go. Okay. Like everybody in the world, I did get The Ink House by Rory Dobner. And this is a beautiful book that I will keep as the book that it is because I do have an extensive book collection but I am going to move it out of my colouring book collection because I'm not going to colour this because it's got that shiny smooth book paper that I just cannot get along with in the way that I colour so that is technically being moved I've got Paul Brun Animal Du Bois can't remember what that translates to this is super gorgeous super super gorgeous and i loved it when i bought it and i love it still but will i color this over something else like will i pick this up over a ken matsuda or rather than a kirby or rather than a mythographic no that's gonna have to go let's be realistic I've got this Ollie Colours Mermaid book and it is on Amazon print paper. It is a super cool book though. I really like this. I wish it was on nicer paper because I actually love the gothic pictures in here. But I know I'm not going to pick that up so that can go. I've got this Olga Goloveshkin as Mounts 1. I've had this forever as well. It's so cute. I love the mounts in here. But again, I'm not going to touch it. So that can go. I've got Rachel Mint's Friendship Vintage Grayscale. Now this, this is so cute. And... I am going to keep this. I just love these bunnies. Um, it actually makes me want to pick it up and colour it. And therefore I know it's right to keep it. So I'm going to keep that one. I've got VSNUC Policy. Um, I always say if I've not coloured in this I'm going to pass it along. Uh, but I I just lie. I'm not going to. I never do. Uh, I've got the tiniest forever whip going on in here somewhere. Where I've done a tiny little bit of a leaf. It's there. Uh, it's just gorgeous. I'm keeping it. I've got this Citizens of Cyborgia by Gudrun Hall. Uh, the These pages are absolutely stunning. But the AI is a bit of a pain to deal with. But I do kind of love... Uh, I'm going to keep that for now actually. I've got Manic Botanic, the uh, Korean version on the nice paper that I never work in, but I'm going to keep. And then I've got this Stephanie Pruman Law, Shadowscapes. And I'm going to keep this one as well. I just, I, this is beautiful. Keeping, 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 keeping. Oh, another one. You guys know I'm going to keep this. Enchanted Faces. I am like... This is probably one of my closest books to ever being, you know, worked through in pencil. So keeping, I do have a group with that and I do have a page open that I need to work on and finish. Okay, we're finally down to the bottom shelf. I'm going to pause you and pull some books up. Okay, who can be out of breath pulling books off a bookcase? I don't know, but... I have the Disney Vitalis and Disney Vitro 2. 
I haven't worked in these at all, but they're stunning. I'm keep I am keeping them, it's ridiculous, but I am going to. Um I do have this Disney Dreams collection poster book. And, oh, I mean, yeah, I'm going to keep that for now, just for now. Probably not going to work in that, but I do want to keep it. I've got these two, To the Ends and Earth and Back Again, and To the Ocean Deep. These are these uh, longest colouring book in the world. They kind of um, keep going. And... It's super fun, as I'm sure that would be, to work in. Uh, I'm actually folding it the wrong way. <sighs> Am I ever going to? No, I'm not. Um, to the ocean deep. The ocean deep's gonna go for sure. To the ends of the earth and back again. Am I gonna keep that for the novelty of it for now? Yes, I think I am. Okay, I've had this book forever. I paid a lot of money for this. Katrina Pelland's Moon Blossoms. Um, and it is going to go, going to sell that one on. Uh, yep, oh, I'll just do it. I've got Serene. I managed to finally get my hands on this. So uh, yeah, keeping. Keeping, 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 keeping. Wouldn't it just be nice to be able to work on it? I've got Jennifer Zimmerman's A Magical Maidens. This is super cute. Again, it's on Amazon print. The faces in this are beautiful. Um, is it the nicer Amazon print? I'm not going to work in this. I'm going to pass it on. I've got Yampo Streams Collection. And this is just one of those kind of super fun little books that, you know, uh, I'm going to keep for now. I've got this stunning uh, Yoshima Suguchi's uh, colouring book of the secret dream story. Reminds me of Eerie quite a lot. It is beautiful. Am I going to colour it over any of the other books I've got that are like it? I'm not. That's going to go. Oh. Uh, this is Girls with Flowers Volume 1 by Yon Yon. Love this book. It's absolutely stunning. A little bit smaller so i'm more likely to actually work in it i'm gonna keep it i've got dinosaurs by william stout again i haven't touched this it does have one of my hairs in it i'm sorry about that guys uh i'm gonna keep that one as well i don't think i'm ever gonna color in it but i'm gonna keep it it's just such a such an awesome book keeping Uh, Grimm's Fairy Tales. I've had this forever. I never colour in it, but I love the artwork in it. Uh, yeah, it's going to survive another round. <coughs> I've got a couple of misfit books. Uh, I've got Alien and Winter Fantasy. I love these. I never colour in them, however. But they always look like such fun. Uh, and I don't think I kept my small book of these. 
Fine. Yes, am I? Am I? You see, this makes you want to colour it. But mine won't look like that. I am going to keep them. Oh. Uh, Story Night 3. Okay, so apparently I still have two of the Wee Shan Yong Ong books. So... Which one to keep? This one, gonna keep number three. That one can go. Oh, I've still got Jim Tim Jeff's Intricate Ink. It's a beautiful art book that I'm just not going to work in. I'm going to pass that along as well. Okay, and then we come to my Tatiana Bogima. She's a little bit like some of the other collecting problems that I have. I've got Vintage classic colouring pages. I wish I, she stopped doing this now, which is nice because half of the book's just taken up with kind of showing you other books. Uh, oh, it's beautiful, but I'm not going to work in it. That can go. Vintage classic two. I love that one. I'm going to keep that one. Vintage Classic 4, which is like a bit of a take on fairy tales, I think. And again, is awesome. I'm going to keep that. Oh, and then I have Nice Little Town 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, Valentine, Halloween, thirteen, and Christmas too. I know. And again. As ridiculous as that actually is, I'm going to keep those as well. I got rid of one though, so go me. Yeah, they're staying. I know. Uh, right. Two more piles left. We're nearly there. Extreme dot to dot classic pin ups. Oh, really enough, I love a good dot to dot. I'm keeping circulism art, the forest, and uh, that's going to go. Dragon Fantasy Mosaic, I'll keep. Fairy Magic Mosaic, I'll keep. Dinosaur Mosaic can go. 100 Animals Line Drawing Book can go. Uh, three Colour Series Celebrities. I've done quite a few in these. They do, do turn out quite fun. They're all relaxing, I'll keep that. Mystery Mosaics, Wow Africa. I have worked in that. I'm going to let it go anyway. Uh, Mystery Mosaics, Wow Animals, I'll keep. My glowing mandalas are the line art mandalas that I like, so I am going to keep those. I've got these lots of dots that I love to work in with uh, gel pen. Because I have done quite a few in here. Um, I'll keep that. I've got the Art Disney Grand Classic Art Deco 1 and 2. These books are just, these are gorgeous. 
and I am going to keep both of those. Mm. Am I actually going to ever work in? I'm going to keep them for now anyway. I haven't touched a colour by a number in a long time. I've got this horror and sci-fi classic comic dot to dot by Gareth Moore. And this is just super fun. It's like comic uh, front pages. So I am going to keep that. <laughs> I've got a calligraphy set for beginners book that can go. How to draw Inky Wonderlands, I'm going to keep that. And Pop Manga Drawing, I'm going to keep that. Uh, Colourist Special Effects, keeping. These are instructional books. Colourist Special Effects 2 and 3 and 4. I'm just going to put them on my top shelf so they're more accessible. The Secrets of Colouring and the secrets of colouring too i do actually find these super super useful uh, if i can just find a shelf that they fit on i'm gonna have to pop them there for now okay we're now very much at the end i have this 101 textures in coloured pencil keeping I do like practical books and I do go through them. So the mandalas I am going to keep. I've got these Angie Grace. I love these. I've got quirky, baubles, peppy, flowers. I'm going to keep them all. And I reckon that's enough mandalas to last me forever and a day. I do have some remnants of my colour by numbers. And the mosaics are the ones that I like. So I'm going to keep Little Witches. Halloween horror. I love these white line mandalas, so I'll keep that. And I've worked heavily in these, so I will keep those. My favourite inverted mandala book. Keeping these, I just I want to finish them off because you know I started them and they are something that I really enjoyed doing i think the animal mosaic can go because i'm not likely to sit and color in the white lines anymore and because of that this one can go as well yeah uh marty jaws and midnight flowers i'm not going to color that i've done a couple of pages that can go uh, 50 lotus flower mandalas can go like I said if I'm going to work in a mandala most of the time it's going to be an Angie Grace Celtic inspired uh, can go one hundred beautiful mandalas so having said that I've had this book forever and I've done quite a few in it so I'm just going to keep it why not I've got these Le Grand Classics and I loved them at the time. And what I actually enjoy doing, more than colouring them in, I just enjoy doing the black outline because the colouring never turns out wonderfully well. Um, so I've got Le Grand Classic 3. I've got Chat and F Cats and Felines, which... I haven't touched, so I'll put that to one side. Now, the Mickey one is like, um, a lot of them are the old black and whites. And I do like that one. I'm going to keep that. I've got Tom 2. I've done a few and I love these. I'm going to keep that. And then I have this beautiful Disney Vitro scratch. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to cough. Scratch off book. So you do that. You scratch off the panels. And uh, I do love that. I am going to keep that. That is kind of fun and relaxing. But seeing as I haven't touched this cat and feline ones, I'm going to let that go as well. Uh, keep the scratch off. Am I going to, am I ever going to sit and scratch those off or should I just 
pull off the ones that I have part done and then just give that to someone who will then work through the others. I'm going to do that. I'm never going to scratch the rest of those off. I don't get time. So there, that can go on the vitro scratch. Uh, I love that one and I love that one. I think what put me off this one was her face. But I'm down to three. I can keep that. Keep that. I've got four mandala books. Four. And I prefer the patterns realistically. I do prefer patterns. But then I've only kept this one mandala book. So I'm going to keep it for what it is. Uh, the chances I will colour these. No, the mermaids can go. I'm not going to colour it. Uh, I love the little fairies one and the world of mice. I really like these. I do like those. I've worked a lot in those. Um, these are kind of my favourites. I love this. And I did enjoy this one actually. I've done quite a few in it. I'll keep it for now. Okay. Wow. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sort out my um shelves with everything I've kept and We'll go from there. I will then show you the new version. And of course, the books I'm getting rid of, if you want to note down, if you live in the UK, because I can't post these overseas, it's too expensive. Better yet, if you live near Colm in the UK and you can actually come and collect these books because it will cost you a pretty penny. To be honest, it costs more in postage half of the time than it actually costs for the price of the books. Um, but otherwise... If you want to go through and make notes of all the ones that I don't, that I'm getting rid of and just send me a list and I can give you a price of either, you know, if you live near me, you can come pick them up uh, for that price. Or then, you know, if you want them posting, let me know and I'll uh, weigh them, work out what the delivery will add on to that. And just send me a message on Instagram and uh, I'll chat to you about them and uh, get rid of some of these piles. Um, so what I'll do is I'll wait a while before I list these books for sale um, so that anyone that's interested gets a chance at them before then. So you'll have to watch the video. Sorry, guys. Uh, make notes of the books you're interested in and I will give you like a, you know, a breakdown fee of how much I'm selling them for. Uh, I tend to sell them for like, you know, a pound or two. You know, usually about a quid for Amazon books, a um, couple of quid for the books. Obviously, my Anastasia is going to probably be, um, I'd say, between five and ten pounds because they were expensive and are expensive. And uh, I'll just kind of go, you know, book, book by book. If you want quite a few, obviously, I'll give you a discount as well. So give me a moment, guys. I'll get... All these shelves sorted and arranged and I will show you the new version, hopefully, of my collection. Okay, so last bit, I promise. I found the book that I had forgotten because it sits kind of up top on my desktop because it's so big. I do have the Book of Wildegorn, A Mysterious World for Intrepid Colourers by Jamie Cotier. This was lovingly sent to me by the artist himself, which I am ever grateful for. This absolutely stunning, stunning book, which of course I will not part with. So I have this one as well and will be absolutely keeping. And then I had another thing and my lots of dots, I'm not going to work in and that one can go. I know someone that will want that. I am going to get rid of this Colour My Sketchbook 4 by Bennett Klein as well. That one can go too. 
and I did have a good scroll through my Tatiana Bogimas and nice little town A and 12 and the nice little town Christmas too. Um, I couldn't really see myself colouring the pages so I am also going to let those go as well. So there we go, I managed to get rid of a few more and I'm just going to lift you guys and show you where we're at. So I'm going to unlock that. Uh, let's come out so you can see the true actual madness. So this is my colouring book bookcase in the corner. It sits in the corner of my mental craft space. Um, obviously, you guys have seen my most updated craft room tour. So you know why I'm trying to sort this room out a little bit. So this is my bookcase now. You can see... It's actually got room. It's not all crammed in like it was before. And, um, and the idea is not to refill this thing because I have too many books. I still have far too many books, far more than one human being can colour in a lifetime. But, you know, they're the ones in my collection that I do want to hold on to, coloured or not. So they are the ones that are staying and I've, you know had a little sit and a stare at and I'm happy with everything I kept and that's what's going like oh my god yes it's a lot so as I said before uh, if you're interested obviously you live in the UK if you can collect or you want to pay delivery and you want to send me a list of the books you want and I'll give you a price then that is no problem um but yeah Whatever's left off or uh, left over after that, um, probably quite a lot of it I'm gonna donate. And then obviously I do have a couple of books that um they're probably more collector pieces and want to go to proper colourists, so I will maybe pop those up onto eBay, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. You may see them pop up on my eBay. So yeah, all done. This is a few hours of video, I reckon. At least two, I'd say. Uh, I feel like I've been at this forever, but obviously some of it wasn't footage. It was just me uh, rearranging, fixing. Um, I am a little bit OCD about things in life. And once they are organised, they are all alphabetical. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not right in the head. So I've got all my small uh, travel size colouring books because they are kind of my favourite and they are kind of pride of place picked first. From there, I've just got in alphabetical order all my colouring books. And then right down the bottom, I've got my colouring instructional books, my super big books, and then my colour by number and dot to dot books, which you will see I have really whittled that down because it's just not something I really do much of. But I did want to have some because I do occasionally. And you never know when you're going to go back to something. And seeing as this is the room of hoard anyway, they might as well stay. But, um, yeah... I feel a little bit better about it. This is way too many books, but for me, it's a more comfortable situation when things are fitting in the place they live. So everything fits on my bookcase. And realistically, I could turn this five um, shelf system, I could rearrange these to fit onto four. And I may well do that. But for now, they're okay as they are. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and as always, happy colouring, happy crafting, happy whatever you're doing. Hope you enjoyed the video um, and if you are crazy enough to watch this far, then let me know. Pop bananas in a sentence in the comment and I can tell which one of you crazy ladies is totally bananas about books. Thanks for watching.